So next should write down hydrolysis of salt of hydrolysis of salt of strong acid and weak base. Can you derive this expression? Huh? A similar, similar. Salt of strong acid and weak base. I'll write down the reaction here. Salt of strong acid and weak base. Reaction is what? We can take HCl plus NH4OH is a weak base. The reaction is reversible or irreversible? Reversible. 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 Because hydrolysis is possible. It is NH4Cl plus H2O. What all ions will get here? It is NH4 plus and Cl minus. So cation of strong base and anion of strong acid. Cl minus is the anion of <coughs> anion of strong acid. So for this hydrolysis is not possible. No hydrolysis. And only this will go under hydrolysis. So the reaction for this is what? Plus plus H2O. It forms NH4OH plus H plus. So it is acidic in nature, the solution is. Tell me the expression for pH for this. Something similar. Ah, See, you'll get, instead of Ka, you'll get Kb over there because the base, the base of the equivalent constant will assume as Kb, not K. So is it just going to be 7 minus half P Kb plus log C? Yeah. Which one? pH? Yeah, yeah it's exactly the same. So the pH, P over here yeah, becomes pH over there. Okay? Instead of Pk, we'll let Pk be over there. Okay? I won't derive this. The expression for pH will be? It is an acidic solution, so it must be lesser than 7. 7 minus half of? PKB plus log C. Acidic solution. POH is 7 plus half of PKB plus log C. Last one, write down. So one can I yeah. Done. Right now, hydrolysis of salt of weak acid and weak base. Hydrolysis of salt of weak acid and weak base. Weak acid is CS3COH. Weak base is NH4OH. CS3C H2O CS3CO minus N NH 4 plus Okay, both will go under hydrolysis Reaction is what? CS3CO minus plus NH 4 plus plus H2O it gives CS3 COOH plus NH4OH okay so this concentration is C into 1 minus H C into 1 minus H this is CH and this is CH what is the KH for this Concentration of CS3COH. Concentration of NH4OH divided by concentration of CS3CO minus and NH4 plus. Okay? If you multiply H plus here, it becomes what? 1 by K, if you multiply OH minus here, it becomes 1 by AB 
So H plus and OH minus this becomes what? K W. K W. Yeah. Okay. So the expression of K H is what? K W by K into K V. ये expression भी exam में करके भी पूछ लेते हैं. Or we can say then weak base, strong base, strong base. Yeah. And that also will be same. Because concentration of NH4 plus and CH3 minus is the same. Yeah. So yeah. that expression, you know, that is coming from the same one. So that also you can write same thing. Concentration of H plus is what? K A is equals to Plus concentration is K E into H by one minus H. Okay. So H by one minus H you can directly substitute as this. We need to find H plus concentration no, for pH. So for H plus we write down the expression for K. Is it clear? Okay. One minus H here we are not dialectic because we need the value of H by one minus H. That we can directly substitute as root over of KW by K into KB. Okay. So the concentration of H plus is what? K A into K W by K A into K B, which is K A into K W divided by K B. Expression of P H will be minus log of H plus is equals to minus half of log A plus log KW minus log KB. Okay? If you take this minus sign inside, then becomes half minus log of K is what? PK minus log of KB is what? PKB plus minus of log 10 to the power minus 40. Okay. Minus log of K. PK. This minus as it is minus log of KB. PKB and plus minus log of KW. KW is 10 to the power minus 40. So this becomes what? 7 minus minus of plus 7 plus K. 7 plus half of PKA minus PKB. Is it right? Okay. So, so this doesn't depend on C. It is independent of the concentration. No, it actually depends upon both acid and base. It depends which one is stronger. 
like further also we can then proceed from this example we cannot say pH is greater than 7 or less than 7 or equal to 7 that is only possible when you know the value of pKa and pKb so if pKb is more than pKa right then it is less than 7 less than 7 means acidic when pKa is more than pKb greater than 7 basic when it is equal then neutral so when you have weak acid and weak base it depends upon the relative strength of acid and base Okay, so there are three possibility here, right? On the pH expression, general expression is this. Case one is what? If acid is stronger, it means what? It means Ka is greater than Kb. So pK is what? Less than pKb minus log. pKa is less than pKb. It means pKa minus pKb is less than zero. It means pH is what? Less than seven. And less than seven means acidic solution. Which is true also if acid is stronger that dominates. The base and the solution will have acidic behavior, right? POH is what? Case two. If base is stronger. What we can write? pKa minus pKb is greater than 0. Base is stronger, no? So Kb is greater than Ka. So pKb is less than pKa. So pKb minus pK is Is it? Kya kya man? Achha, PKA minus PKB is PK minus PKB is Both are equal So in this case pH is greater than 7 and POH is less than 7 the solution will be basic in nature Ok means whatever is strong base or acid that will be the nature of the solution Ok Third case is what? When Ka is equal to Kb equal strength in this case pKa minus pKb is 0 and pH is equal to 7 solution will be neutral write down the question calculate the pH of the solution calculate the pH of the solution formed by mixing pH of the solution formed by mixing 100 ml of first question formed by mixing first question 100 ml of 0.1 molar CS3 COOH 100 ml of 0.1 molar CS3 COOH and 100 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH 100 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH. Second question. 100 ml of 0.1 molar NH4OH and 100 ml of 0.1 molar HCl. 100 ml of 0.1 molar NH4OH and 100 ml of 0.1 molar CH, 0.1 molar HCl. Third one, 100 ml of 0.1 molar HCl, 100 ml of 0.1 molar HCl and 100 ml of 0.1 molar NaOH. Fourth one, 100 ml of 0.1 molar NH4Cl 
and 100 ml of 100 ml of 0.1 molar CS3 COH. Sir, NH4 CL can be CH3COOH. Yes. Sir, it's a buffer solution. No, wait. It is NH4 OH, not CL. Oh, that's a buffer solution. That's the last one. That's the last one. But it gets over. K value, hey, you want to ask? Yeah, that's the last one. K value, yeah. So, I got. I was thinking of Pucho, we have Pucho, we have not asked. KKB value ah. always will be given in the question. So you cannot find it. Just didn't know how to do it. So you can't find it. No, you don't know KKB. You're trying to find out KKB. No, you're trying to find out KKB. No, you're trying to find out KKB. Do this now. First one is 9.85. What is 107? See, this K value is given for CS3 COH. This is given for CS3 COH K value. And KB is given for NH4OH. So, this second one 5.2, 5.1. Yes, yes, correct. Okay, and third one 7. 7, right. And then fourth one. Fourth one is 7. How do we do the third one? Third one is just to find out the number of milling unit of acetate base. Because K value is not given, so acetate base you can find out the number of milling unit. See which one is four? Seven is correct. Method is C, XCL and any which is given. So you do not know the K and K B value for this. Okay. So we'll find out N A B A for acid and N B V B for base. Sir, isn't it a strong acid and strong base? And we have same concentration and other holes. So what is this? Directly also you can do. I am what I am telling you. If some acid and base is given and K value is not given, then what you have to do? Strong acid means strong base, pH value will be 7, completely neutralized. But when KB value is not, KKB is not given, then you can find out the number of milli equivalent. Then you subtract this, you will see whether this one is more or this one is more. Right? Whatever, suppose NABA minus NBV is positive, it means this gives you H plus concentration. Divided by BA plus V. Last class we have done this. Okay, like this also you can find out. And when you find out NAV and NBVB, you will see the difference is zero. It's completely neutralized. Last one is what? Weak acid and weak base. Last one is seven. Next question write down. Seven. Last one also. Yeah. <laughs>